also breaking tonight, another mass shooting, this time in Florida. Orlando TV journalists who went to cover the initial deadly shooting ended up being targeted themselves. One TV journalist shot and killed, another in critical condition, and that was only part of this shooting rampage. Our Jory Rand joining us now with new information about this chilling crime spree. Jory. Mark, America's scourge of gun violence claimed more victims today when a gunman with a long criminal record took the lives of three people, including that TV news reporter and a nine-year-old girl. So I want to acknowledge what a horrible day this has been for our community and our media partners. Today in Orlando, Florida news crew, while covering a deadly shooting, themselves became victims of another deadly shooting. TV advisory and multiple gunshot wound calls in the Highway Street area. Five hours after a woman in her 20s was found shot to death in Pine Hills, two journalists, a reporter and a videographer from Spectrum News 13, were in their vehicle when the suspected murderer returned to the scene of the crime crime, approached their vehicle and fired, killing one journalist and sending the other to the hospital in critical condition. Their colleagues tonight left to report on the death of a friend. I apologize. This is really difficult uh, to cover. Um, it is very emotional here uh, at ORMC. I'm, I'm not even going to turn the camera um, because there are people here um, who knew that reporter who uh, his fiance uh, and I were just embracing. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. We, we go home at night afraid that something like this will occur. And that, that is what happened here. But the killing spree wasn't over. The 19-year-old killer then ran to a nearby house where he shot a mother and her 9-year-old daughter. The little girl did not survive. The total carnage, five shot, three dead, two in critical condition. At 19, he has a lengthy criminal history to include gun charges, aggravated battery and assault with a deadly weapon, burglary, and grand theft charges. No one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine-year-old, and certainly not news professionals, should become the victim of gun violence in our community. This, of course, happened in Florida, where right now a bill that would allow people to carry concealed guns without a permit or training is making its way through the state legislature, which has Republican supermajorities in both chambers and a Republican governor in Ron DeSantis. Florida has about half the population as California, but has nearly as many gun deaths. According to the CDC, death rates by guns breaks down almost exactly along party lines, with more people killed by guns in Republican-led states than in Democratic. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.